Hey, yo, Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yehovah, Yehoshua, this is Sound some YYBY. A lot of people say they're not mixing their beats or they don't mix their beats. You might not be thoroughly mixing, but you are mixing. Let's talk about it. The 12 tribes. All right, <clears throat> this is not a shot to all my music head brothers and sisters. This is not a shot. This is not a diss. This is not belittling. This is just to add a little bit to the sauce of what y'all talking about and what I see a lot because I, I zoom in on to a lot of y'all people and, and I listen to y'all stuff and enjoy the content because we all can learn something new. All right, so now <clears throat> you got a lot of them say we're not mixing. We don't mix our music. And... um. Let's see, let's see, first, let's see what the definition of mixing is, right? So when you go right here and say, in sound recording and, pre and, and reproduction, audio mixing is the process of optimizing and combining multiple tracks recording into a final mono, stereo, or surround sound product. In the process of combining the separate tracks, their relative levels are adjusted and balanced you know, in various process such as equalization and compression are commonly applied to individual tracks, groups of tracks, and the overall mix, in stereo and surround sound mixing. The placement of the tracks within the stereo, which is the panning part, or surround sound feel are adjusted and balanced. Audio mixing techniques and approaches vary widely and have a significant influence on the final product. So now, We are mixing, especially if you're a person who you got to a point in your life where you've been doing it so long, where you have skills and you know how to put sounds together as you go. You know, you know, you, you know how to blend sounds as you go. Like you can pick this sound, and this sound, and that sounds, it, it sound good. You know, um, you know, uh, you, you very good at picking those things, Id identifying those. As you go, so you do a lot of these things as you go. So you 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 volume level, you 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 turn something up, you turn something down, you pan something to the left or to the right or all the way to the left or to the right, right? You might throw an EQ on something just to just to uh, blend it because a lot of the samples and sounds that we're using, let's be real, they are EQ'd and compressed. But in order for them to sound good with what you're using. You have to uh, EQ them a little bit. So now, <clears throat> a lot of the times when they're making these beats, the reason why the 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 the, uh, the premix or the so-called beat that's not mixed is already sounding good and it's banging because of their skills of how they doing things as they go. Meaning, again, they leveling, they mixing, they blending, they throw a little EQ on something, roll something off real quick, keep it going. It panning here and there because you got to do all this stuff you got to do all this stuff and when they play it it's already dope it's banging it's hard to a point where they could just put a limiter on it and just put it out there while it's loud now if a person say they not mastering they beats i believe them fully because you know that's pros and cons of that man like when you send in a song to somebody and and, and the engineer get because i'm an engineer I record artist so but and when this beat is already mastered it's, it's tough of so-called trying to master that beat over again with the vocals you can do it but it's, it's, it's it, 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 you know it varies because if they ain't do it right with the beat it won't sound right a lot of the times so it's better to have a beat that's not mastered but already mixed and just sound good you know and then you drop that inside of it as a two track and then you record the vocals on there you can blend everything better it can come out better so if they're not mastering, cool. But y'all are mixing. You might not be mixing thoroughly, but you are mixing. And 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 uh let's be real. Because because in order for that music to sound right and blend right as you play it, and and and, and the artist is vibing to it in the studio, or the artist is vibing to the beat from from uh beat stars or whatever they you know they downloaded from, that beat. 
was tweaked. You tweaking as you go. That's the difference from you know producers that you know that's that that well experienced. Because I remember before me, like I wasn't tweaking when I when I first started. I wasn't tweaking everything. It, it, I was wondering why it wasn't coming out right because you know I would think that I could just put stuff together and it just sound good. Nah, I had to learn how to pick the right instruments, the right bass lines, the right and what octave it should be and what octave it shouldn't be. You know, for things to blend properly. You know. Uh, if, if if I'm gonna copy the MIDI track, the MIDI, the MIDI, the MIDI notes on this next track, I need to change the octave on that jump. So again, you might not be mixing thoroughly, but y'all are mixing, right? And and this is and, you know that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Mixing come with leveling, panning, you know, uh, EQ on compression dynamics. A lot of the samples and sounds already have those if that's what you're using. Uh, unless you're using dry sounds or dry instruments with, with nothing on it and you, you're tweaking everything yourself and building a whole, you know, multi-instrument type joint. You know, if you're doing that, then that's cool. You know, we, I do all of it, you know. Uh, I don't sample everything. You know, I, I like to make things straight out. I, I do, you know, I got, a, I got a cycle that I do. I, I make a beat. I make an R&B joint. Hip-hop. Trap. Or whatever you want to call it down south. West Coast, pop, Afro, reggae, sample type joint, which is the old school vibe. So I go in the circle because I was, you know, I was tapped into all that music as a young boy. So, you know, all that music is in my blood. So, yeah. So that's all I'm saying, man. You know, just keep in mind, you're mixing, man. If you're blending and tweaking and changing and, and panning and left and, and, and throwing like a little quick EQ on something, that's still mixing, man. Again. It might not be thoroughly mixing, but you're mixing. This is Rawai Peace.